Good morning and welcome to a day in the life of a mechanic engineer. That's me. This is my first ever vlog and possibly my last one, depending on how this goes. So today we're going to explore what engineers do all day. I'm dying to find out myself what the hell I'm doing with my life. After waking up, I look fresh as ever as you can see, so no need to brush my hair for the next few hours until I have my first meeting. First I make myself some tea, of course. I cannot stand coffee and yes I have tried everything to like it, thank you for asking, but I do love me some tea and yes I do put soy milk into my tea and of course I use a huge mug because did you even have tea if the mug is not at least 700 milliliters big? Then I sit down and realize as always that my tea is still too hot to drink and forget about it until it's cold. I first check my personal emails and work a little bit on a video script and then I start planning my work day. If I write down a clear plan for the day, I always feel way more productive because I know what I should be working on every minute of the day. So I pull up my calendar on my work phone and a little notebook because we get free notebooks at work, so why not? I then first write down all of my meeting times and free time windows. Then I write down my most important tasks and schedule them into the free times. I still have not had a sip of tea at this point because it's still way too hot for me. I then realize that I ran out of bananas and decide to go get some for breakfast. I combine the trip to the supermarket with a morning walk as it would otherwise take me just about 30 seconds to get there and back and I do feel better when I go outside for a bit before work but I can't get myself to do this without the prospect of bananas. Once I have the goods I go back home and prepare my breakfast. Because my life is so adventurous, I have exactly the same thing for breakfast every single day to keep me grounded. A munch banana with oats, soy milk and cinnamon. Now I finally forgot my tea long enough for it to go cold, so that I can have it with my breakfast. And then it's time to start working. I'm working from home today as I have the luck of being able to choose every day whether I want to work from the office or from home. Unless I need to be at the office for an important in-person meeting or if I need to travel to our factory or to one of our suppliers. I work as a mechanical engineer at a battery production company where we build factories to then produce batteries for electric vehicles. My job is basically to plan and design equipment together with the supplier to move material to where it is needed in the factory and to move the batteries between the different production steps. In other words, I plan the taxis and subways of the factory. Okay, so I've just been working on making an evaluation sheet because part of my job is to basically choose the equipment that we want to put in our factory. So we send out a specification to different suppliers of what we want and then we get their proposals and then we need to evaluate which proposal is the best one for what we need in terms of, of course, price and also the technical side. And my job is to evaluate the technical side so I've, passed, uh, so I've just been working on making an evaluation sheet to kind of set different criteria with which I'm going to then look at the proposals. Yeah, so that's what I'm, I've been working on and then in the afternoon I guess I'm gonna go through the proposals and fill in the evaluation sheet. But now I'm just gonna take a quick break and um, empty the dishwasher I guess. <laughs> just to do something productive and not sit at the desk. Yeah, so this is me emptying the dishwasher. Really interesting. Okay, so I'm back from my break and I'm about to have my first meeting of the day. Usually I have quite a lot of meetings, but today it's pretty calm, which is great because I have a lot to do and then I get to have some focus time. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna prepare for the meeting. That's the five minute reminder. And so the meeting is gonna be about Basically, we have a change in production plan and we need to figure out how we can change the equipment to accommodate that. And this is something that happens all the time. <laughs> and yeah, it's quite fun because you get to solve a problem and find a solution. And I really enjoy doing that. And the meeting is with one of my favorite colleagues, so that's also great. <laughs> so the most important thing to remember in an engineering meeting is to say as many numbers as possible out of context for credibility. You said something about 160, 96, 96. So that's 480, 96 is five, so then we have five. I mean, we can make an executive decision. So, <laughs> yeah, thanks, you too. 
right? Well, that was a great meeting, but we ran a little bit over, so now it's a bit after 12 and I'm gonna have my lunch break and I need to hurry up a little bit because I wanted to go for a run and I only have 55 minutes left to be back and shower and have lunch. <laughs> Here I'm getting ready for my run. Very interesting. Put on my shoes. Yeah, yeah. And let's go run. It is very cold outside, as you can tell, because there's snow outside. Before I came to Sweden, I would have never ever even thought about running in the snow. But if you want to run regularly in Sweden, you cannot avoid running in the snow. Because otherwise you pretty much couldn't run for three months out of the year. So I've gotten sort of used to it. My main advice is to take small steps so that you spend less time on each foot and are less likely to slip. I heard that normal people here put spikes under their shoes, but that just seems a little bit over the top for me. I found this path that seems to always be kept snow free, so as long as I don't fall on the way there and back, I'm good. I stopped a few seconds on this bridge to show you the view, because how could I not show you this view? Stockholm has some of the most amazing views I've ever seen. It is actually quite hilly in Stockholm, so when you get up one of the many hills or a bridge, like in this case, it will be freaking exhausting, but the view will be worth it. Now I realize that time is running faster than me and I need to get back because I have a meeting at 1. So I take a quick shower and make myself a really quick lunch, which I couldn't film because I would have been late to the meeting. But because it's an informal meeting with my colleagues, where I just need to take in the information and not really say much, it's fine for me to eat my lunch during the meeting. Of course I wouldn't do this in a more serious meeting. After the meeting, I do some more focus work and have some more meetings. I have a new colleague and was assigned to help him find his way around the job in his first weeks. So I have a meeting to answer his questions that came up during the day and explain a way of working. And then I have a few more meetings. Yeah, yeah, meeting time. So now I do more work, 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 work. And then I have a few more meetings. <laughs> and then I'm finally done. Hey, Yay. After work, I quickly go to the grocery store to buy the ingredients I'm missing to make dinner. And then it's time for a weekly call I have with some friends who are also doing YouTube and we have this call to support each other. We all met at this YouTube course called the Part-Time YouTuber Academy by Ali Abdal, which is a course all about making videos on YouTube that I took two months ago. And to keep each other accountable and motivated, our group decided to set up weekly calls. During our call, I realized that I just hit 100 subscribers, which is super exciting for me. So Anna, congratulations on the first 100. Thanks. Congratulations. <laughs> so thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to me. I really appreciate each one of you. During the call, I learned from the others that right after this call, there's an online event happening called The Psychology of Writing with Ali Abdal and David Perel. So I quickly sign up since I want to improve my writing for my weekly newsletter and I'm also a big fan of both Ali Abdal and David Prell. So what's not to like? So after our call finishes, I cook dinner while listening to the event and occasionally chatting with the other participants. I might be an introvert, but when it comes to group chatting, I'm in my element. <laughs> of course, the water boils over a few times because I'm distracted, but this is what keeps life interesting. And it's all fine in the end because I end up with a delicious meal, which I enjoy while watching the rest of the event. Okay, I kind of <laughs> failed this vlogging thing a little bit. After dinner, I just kind of chilled on the sofa and forgot to film any of it. <laughs> but, you know, you can imagine how chilling on a sofa looks like. So, yeah, I was just, you know, watching some YouTube, changing my thumbnail for a video because I wasn't quite happy with the thumbnail, and responding to some messages on Instagram. If you want to have a chat with me, you can feel free to send me a message on Instagram. I'm super happy to connect, and I'm super grateful for everyone watching this. And yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. It's way too late. I'm not gonna tell you how late it is. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> gonna be the worst vlog in the world but that's not my problem that's your problem <laughs> oh no i should go to bed thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i hope to see you in my next video and do let me know if you want me to do this again i think it went kind of shit but you know you never know it was fun though